hello everyone in this javascript tutorial series number 19 so in this tutorial video we are going to learn this javascript continue and the break statement so this is a basically two types which is one is continuous statement and another one is break statement so continue basically work for the continuing this all of this line or whatever the statement is running so it will be continue this all of this one two so for example you can take it a number over here so this number one two three four five six and this number of n so it will be continuously it will be that how much we have provided the statement and it will be run this complete of this statement of this limit so it will be completely run this until that n number of the limit of the continuous statement but break it will be this it will be the different of this or continuous statement break will be there why don't we provide some break on this or statement so it will be stopped on there and it will be go out of this or statement so for this we can do using that for loop so we are going to do it using that for loop so let's start this video right now here here you can see i have opened my visual code studio there you can see i've added a basic html file which is we have using that previous video or whatever we are going to using the javascript so all these videos we are going to using the same of our index.html file so here i need to create a file and which is in our js folder so i'm going to creating file which is continue and break dot js now save this file and just hiding this the left side of window over here now select in this dot html file so now here i need to connect that our file that which is our js file we have created right now which is continue and break dot js now save this file and open this index.html with the live server and we'll be see live view on our browser over here on the right side now we're going to this open our continue and break dot js so for this we are continue and break dot js this basically this continue and break statement this basically work for the for loop statement so when you are using something for loop that's the, that's the places the continue and the break is basically work so here i'm going to take a for and here inside of this i'm taking a okay i'm taking a statement which is bar i'm taking bar variable equal one and a greater than equal 10 and then i'm going to make it that a will be increment over here a will be increment now here we're going to take in that curly braces and here i'm going to write some one name message i'm going to writing this printing over here so it is document dot dot write and inside of this i'm going to printing this first of all i'm going to write some string over here so it is number so number and taken a space over here and then taking this plus and then the variable which is a and then save it now you can see the live preview there you can see that number which is 1 to 10 1 so increment we use that reason that is this bar is a equal 1 and a is greater than equal 10 so it means a will a this value will be less than 10 or it can be the 10 so that's why it was printed 1 to 10 and it was increment is of the time 1 to 3 but there is it was shrinked in one line so we are going to add a break over here so break will be also the string type and save this file now you can see it was the break line over here so let me make a little bit of zoom so that it can be perfectly well visible over here okay that's it now you can see this is the for loop the basic statement you know that for is the for use for the multiple types of painting something or multiple types of doing some tracks so now we are going to add a condition over here inside of it so i'm using add a if and a is equal to three when a is equal to three then the condition will be run over here so i'm just going to do some sense of this document just copying from here and inside of this if condition and here instead of number i'm just going to add something else and which is okay let me add it here so i'm using that cp number okay now save this file you can see the cp number it was displayed over here but there is you can see the serial is one two three three so it was you can see the three is double this is means it's two time displayed so i want to add something here that which will be continue so i'm adding it a continue over here so that it will be continue from this three to 
this continue with this statement will be run so this will be completely run from this one two three and then it will be start from the four now save this file and let's see you can see that j4 you can see this continue is basically will be this for loop this will be when it was write the continue of this three then it will be execute immediately executed of this document and this left part of this up to three it will be left part is four then four it will be continue all of this so now this break statement break is basically the different of continue so well, i just need to write here the break instead of then break it will be work this is we have provide this one on this serial number there we have write the break statement so it should be break one there so now save this file and you can see it was working perfectly and there you can see pin number and this three and it was break so this is basically continue and the break is work so break will be when we have provided some break statement so when this condition is matched over here it will be pinned till then and then when it is break then it will be completely out of this for loop so this is basically continue and for loop is work so if you have any question about continue and the break the statement about it so you can give me on the comment section below and if you're interested to get more tutorials just like this so please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any tutorial from us and thanks for watching this video